gotten to a point in my life where the things I've held on to have caused too much trouble. I have an issue. And this issue can't fix itself. I don't think I've took the time to fully understand what this issue is. So I decided to sit here and play some notes and just let it out. I need to help myself understand what I'm going through and what I'm going to do about it. You see, this issue most people would be fine with. Most people would say, that's not an issue at all. That's a blessing. But I've learned that over the years, I used to think that it was normal. That I was normal and everybody else who had these feelings was just weird and they didn't know how to cope with life. But I was wrong. I was so wrong. This right here, all of this, this is the end. The end of what I used to think and what I used to feel. I don't have a drug issue. I'm not an alcoholic. I'm not depressed. I don't have a lot of anxiety. And that makes me kind of odd. I'm gonna put myself in a vulnerable position right now. I was abused as a kid. I would get pinned to a wall and choked until I could not breathe. My arms would get squeezed and I never felt at ease. I would have bruises all over my body. And every time my grandparents came to pick me up from this helpful house that I stayed in, I felt the most happiest I ever felt. It felt good to finally get away from this. It felt good to not feel pain. But that happiness was temporary because I still had to go back home. Can you imagine the pain I felt to be somewhere where I felt safe and was forced to go back to hell? At a very young age, I learned I did not like pain. I learned that this feeling did nothing but hurt me. It did nothing but made me feel like shit. I eventually shut that feeling off. And that's why for so long, nobody saw me frown. Nobody saw me angry. Nobody saw me sad. They all saw me smile. They saw me happy. It seemed like there was nothing wrong with me. Like I was a child who never went through pain and suffering in his life. But I did. And I shut it off. So I never dealt with pain. I never felt loved from my parents. So I didn't know how to express love. And I later on in life realized that you need to feel those fucking things for a relationship to work out. Because for so long, I had to deal with feelings on my own. For so long, I felt like I could not vent to anyone, like I was on my own. And I'm sorry to anyone who ever tried to talk to me about what they were feeling. And I didn't know what to say. And I didn't know how to express pain or love. And I just said things like, it'll be okay. But things are not okay. Sometimes things aren't fucking okay. 
and you just need somebody right there to listen and understand that you're not crazy for feeling these feelings. And to you, Jordan, I'm sorry you could not let these feelings out. And I'm sorry you had to go so soon. And to my other brother, Devin, I'm sorry I never told you that you could talk to me about anything in life. And I'm sorry to you, Nick, for never really listening to you. I didn't know how to. And I'm sorry to you, Mia, for not showing love. I didn't know how to express it. I didn't know how to show it. I didn't know how to be there for you when you were going through something. So my issue is, I can't feel pain. Things don't affect me. Is that a good thing? I don't know. And even in this song, I still don't feel those things. I mean, I can come from a place where I somewhat can express these feelings. But to this day, I haven't fully figured out how to express love. I haven't fully figured out how to express pain and understand feelings I'm going through. I might figure it out one day. And maybe on that day, I'll shed so many tears. I'll cry me a fucking river and I'll finally understand what pain is. Because to feel love and express love, you must feel pain and you must feel suffering. And I'm working towards that. I'm working towards feeling pain. <laughs> I, want I want to feel, to feel pain. pain. I want to feel pain. I want to feel pain. I want to feel pain.